Hi and welcome to another video in the RHCE video series. Uh, today's video is, today, is on use provided documentation to look up specific information about Ansible modules and commands. So what we're really talking about in this particular subject is more about Ansible doc. Um, Ansible hyphen doc is, is a tool that's a core Ansible package. So when you install Ansible, you'll get this as well as um, the other tools we've used in the previous videos. And it also, it contains all the um, documentation around the uh, modules and plugins um, installed as part of the Ansible libraries. Uh, it's it's a standard command line prompt. Um, so you'd be pretty much pretty familiar if you've used any of the um, Ansible commands, it's all pretty, pretty similar. But however, we'll just go through a few examples here. Um, and also how to um, to get help and how to list bits out uh, when you can't quite work out what to do. So let's launch a terminal as always. Um, I don't need to be any kind of an administrator for this. So it's just the ansible hyphen doc command. So if you run it without, without any, um, <clears throat> any uh, options, we will get uh, a bit more about the usage, pretty standard. Um, we've got information as a plugin documentation tool. Uh, we've got um, a few of the options here. So some of those ones we'll actually go and explore. But the first example would be to just go uh, Ansible hyphen doc and then just look up yum. So it's a module. Um, so we just put, specified the module. So it, by default, it's going to use the module type of uh, it, the type of module. Um, so it will look up uh, for those sort of types of, of documentation. So we can see it's got um, a very a top heading here, which just lists um, exactly where the actual file, is, the uh, module is located, located as well as the. Um, this 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 uh, document you're reading right now. Um, yeah, you can see a bit more information about the options available um, for the YAML file um, as part of this. Uh, you can see it lists them all out. Um, it gives quite good amount of detail and when it's what version. So if it's a new thing that's been added um, into Ansible, it'll also have a version added field here. <clears throat> so that means we can get a bit more information that I'll. I don't know, we've got some older Ansible hosts that don't support it um, and we can see that's why. We've also got some notes at the very bottom here and uh, that's good to know any requirements for the system. Uh, so it requires YUM, not surprisingly, um, and then obviously the authors as well here. And finally at the very bottom we have a bit of um, some examples. So we can see, look, um, we've used these some of these before, so we've got install the latest version of Apache. Um, we've got HTTPD and latest to get latest packet package. Um, ensure the the packages are installed, so you can check the packages are currently installed. You can remove a package. Uh, you can see it's it's quite flexible, and there's quite a number of examples there. So if you're stuck in the exam, sometimes just go and look in the documents. You might even find the answer you're looking for. So hopefully that one's a, a very helpful tip there for exam because it's got examples we've also got um, format in there as well so it's it's really really pretty good um, in there another one you can do is Ansible doc minus H which is just the the help which will just give that a very similar output to what we had earlier but we've just got a bit more um, detail about each of those options so so I did say it, um, by default we have a, a type is module, but we can also have type as in uh, what's a good example? Maybe just a a plugin uh, if you want to use like vars or strategy or a, mo a module shell. We can yeah, you can use all the different plugins, um, different types. So you've got all these different types of plugins, um, and you can actually just go select them uh, as required. Okay, let's have a look for um, the different connection types. So we've got Ansible doc minus T. So that was like um, to change the type, which has set the type as connection. 
and we'll do a minus L to list them out. And we have a load of different types of connections. So we can see stuff like uh, Podman, where we may be familiar from the um, RHCSA. We've got stuff like SSH, VMware Tools, uh, WinRM, so we can manage um, Windows devices. We've got H HTTP API, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, chroot and all that kind of good stuff here. Um, so we can actually go then and have a look at one of these specifics if that's something we're interested in. So we can do, let's just do a clear, and then we're just doing ansible hyphen doc, again, minus T, the type, set it type to connection, minus S, so SSH. And then we've got this connection plugin allows Ansible to communicate to target machines via normal SSH command line. So basically, um, it's give a bit more information about that again and again all the different options it has and you should see the very familiar setup so if we go scroll down we'll get like the authors examples and all that sort of stuff uh, in this case we don't have an example so it's a pretty small one but you you may imagine that not every single one probably needs examples uh, this probably is a good example of that so let's have a look a bit more information about one of these connections. So um, Ansible doc, and let's have a look at connection. Again, oh, minus T to change the type to connection, and then minus, no, 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 there's nothing there. So if you want to look at SSH, for example, we're going to have a look at the SSH uh, option. And yeah, it'll be pretty much similar to what we had before, but very specifically for SSH. And should have all the usual suspects in here, all the different um, options for the uh, command. And then we've got an author at the end. It is, a, it is, a, it is in this particular case, we don't have an example in there as well. What you can do as well is specify a minus S on the SSH to give a more summary view um, to uh, cut down the, the amount of reading you may need to do. Yeah, we can do the same thing with a module as well. So if we do an Ansible hyphen doc and then minus S and then say reboot. A very nice summary of a reboot command. Uh, another one we can do is minus L, which then gives a list um, to then list out all the different plugins we have and plugins and modules and whatnot. So you're going to get a whole lot of um, options there and obviously they all have a they all should have <laughs> I say they all should have um, a, a, a good document so let's do minus s and then just do copy and we've got a nice snippet of the copy command so, yeah that's usage of that um, if you're interested in the actual location of the documents themselves, you can do a minus F, capital F that is, um, and it gives all the file locations of the actual modules here. Okay, and finally we have the man page. So, as always, so we have man ansible doc, you can see the man page for Ansible Doc. So obviously going one level higher, we have a man page for Ansible itself. And we can see a lot more information about all the different options in this, minus I, um, the environment. So you can see all the Ansible config files and where they normally are located. Um, we've also we've got Ansible playbook as well. So it's really uh, the, the main places to look. Um, obviously info as well is available. Um, if it is, yep, we've got an info as well. So info is pretty good as a, a more um, in depth. It looks very similar in this case. Um, the look on, look on that. So that's pretty much the entirety of documentation. Um, 
as always it's yeah man pages the info pages and then finally we've got this ansible hyphen doc specifically for ansible that documents all these different plugins modules and, and what have you um yeah um as always i hope this video has been useful i'll catch you next one so that concludes the video as as always i've um, popped on the screen now my ko-fi page um, that's a great place to um, donate if that's something you're interested in um, to help support the this channel also i've put um, the t public page for any merchandise uh, i've got so i've got a few t-shirts and stuff like that if that's anything you're interested in and uh, finally i've put my uh, discord server details um, as well as in description for these things um, details so you can uh, chat there uh, i'll try and answer questions when i've got a spare few minutes and uh, try and help you out where i can thank you